If I told you that all active shooter situations had one thing in common 50% of the time, would you be interested in knowing what that was? What if I told you 75% of the time? What if I told you greater than or equal to 95% were mood-altering psychotropic drugs known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors? Guess what doesn't get discussed? The connection and correlation, and then we all know the correlation does not necessarily equal causation. <clears throat> but when you have 96% of the people, 96% uh, of the individuals who have perpetrated these mass killings have an extensive history of being medicated by SSRIs, they kind of think it, uh, it, it warrants a closer look. <clears throat> Greatest number of deaths, 49. Lowest number of deaths, zero. On average, four people are wounded. On average, two people are killed. Hours of attack. Pretty boring up until 6 o'clock in the morning. 6, 7, 8. What does that tell you? When does the greatest number of attacks occur? During, the, during the, the, uh, the time that people are at work. Where do they occur? They don't actually occur as frequently as you would think in schools. Out of 242, exactly 50% occurred in a business environment. Only 22%, 53, occurred in a school. 21% occurred in public places. And then a fraction, about 8%, occurred in other places. Public venue, considered an outside area park or parking lot if the building wasn't attacked, military bases, things like that. 